Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to check fresh release from Special Hobby. It is modded in 148 scale, 8 copies Reggiani Red 2005 Sagittario and this edition is named as Ultimate Italian World War II Fighter. This is a commercial sample so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you will see in this video and we are going to open it and check what is hidden inside. So first of all box here is standard, here you can see comparison with my hand. We have quite nice box art and on the sides it's a typical information which is usually found on special hobby kits. Um, Scalemates website claims that this is a new tool so it will be interesting to see what is actually um, supplied with this kit. So as you can see packaging is typical we have all components packed into the same plastic bag and then we have assembly manual. Of course we will start with plastic components and then we will continue with manual and see how this aircraft is assembled. Give me a second. In the meantime let me remind you that you can support us financially. It is quite easy to do because it's done by a PayPal and of course you decide how much we will get for new photo and video equipment. So uh, first we have decal sheet which is packed into the separate plastic bag. As far as you can see there are no PE parts so give me a second to open it. And straight away I can say that it is printed by Edward, so printing quality is quite nice. And here you can see it in zoom. We also have decal for the instrument panel, we have some stencils here, minor, minor stencils. I guess there are several marking options included, but printing quality looks really good. So I think it should be easy to apply all these symbols on your model and have it, I mean, in the right way. Next we continue with this plastic bag, so let's open it as well. This is a clear sprue and we have one piece canopy, which is not that cool in 148 scale, but molding quality looks really good, so at least this is fine here, but you need masks because masks are not included here, but I guess maybe Edward will come up with some aftermarket set. Next we continue with wing ports, so those come on the first grey plastic sprue, let's zoom out a bit, now you should be able to see it. We have uh, wing mechanization molded in, so it means flaps and ailerons are not movable here, and overall power division is typical for wing, and here inside you can notice that we do not have any guiding elements, so you have to be careful while gluing all this stuff together. Next we continue with another grey plastic sprue, this one is dedicated to quite interesting mix of parts because we have both external and internal parts. For example, these are landing gear doors. But if you flip it over, here you can see some of the cockpit elements, which look really nice. And I think it is a matter of careful painting and you will get even more impressive result. But again, level of molded in details is really good for out of the box detailing. Okay, next. We go on with another plastic sprue. This one is packed with separate propeller blades. We have cockpit floor, instrument panel, also engine gear wheels, propeller hub, and also some of the parts for the engine gear legs, for example. Here, everything looks fine, but as far as I can guess, yes, wheels should be glued out of two holes. We have guiding pins inside, and of course, with propeller blades, you have to be careful because you have to get somehow the right alignment of these parts and we can zoom in so that you can take a look closer so I do not see any possible molding damage here everything looks completely fine no flash no other problems so it's just a matter of assembling everything together and carefully painting all this stuff because some parts are really small for 148 scale aircraft even so here on the last grey plastic sprue we have fuselage halves, so as you can see both are molded together with tail section and also with nose section as well, so it's not like the separate cowling here. Tail wings of course they are separate and they are molded together with elevators. External detailing is typical, we have recessed panel lines and rivets, so let's zoom in. Now you should be able to see it in a better way. So these panel lines are not that deep as they could be, so be careful with um, paint and primer layers because it will be easy to lose these 
panel lines under several thick layers and then you have to solve it somehow or maybe you can rescribe whole model but who would like to do this you know in 148 scale here we continue with what we have inside so we do not have any guiding pins we have also this molding pins which will have to be cut off I mean and at least in the tail area because you won't be able to combine those two pieces together and note also those attachment points I mean this is definitely not a beginner's kit because as you can see attachment points are going on to the part so you have to be careful while separating it. It's better to use the plastic saw or maybe something else. Definitely not the plastic cutters because you will just damage the uh, thin tail fin and then you have to solve it somehow. And of course cockpit detailing is not that uh, I would say impressive because we had cockpit walls molded separately so don't worry about this it is actually covered with separate parts but absence of any guiding elements inside it might be tricky for beginners so keep it in mind okay and next we go on with assembly manual so this one is printed in typical special hobby format so it means a color printed brochure we have short history note in English and Czech also technical specifications so wingspan was 11 meters which is not that big for uh, World War II aircraft in my opinion next we continue with parts map so note that only few parts won't be used in this build so be sure not to lose any other parts because they will be used in this build here we have also small paints chart which is given in Gunzi designations and of course the science legend here uh, we start assembly with cockpit so as you remember we have decal for instrument panel so at least this will be covered but there are no seat belts so if you would like to copy them you will have to resort to aftermarket set or maybe copy them with mask and paper I mean some models usually do it here we work on the tail area it means tail landing gear as you can see it is a matter of combining several parts together so now be sure to paint it in advance because otherwise it will be a bit tricky to do here we continue with air intake as far as you can guess and also installing the top uh, cooling panel which is molded separately I'm not sure why but still I remind that we have here cooling pre-molded together with fuselage halves so you have to solve somehow the um, joint between these two parts and it might be a bit tricky for beginners so be sure to I mean to understand what you have to do next we continue with propeller so as you remember here we have separately molded blades and again it's a matter of the um, combining all those parts together in the right way so be sure to uh, check it and here by the way you can see also exhaust installation one piece canopy again I remind you, it's a one piece maybe there will be some vacuum parts but I'm not sure about this and definitely not now I mean I tried to search for some alternative upgrades and I didn't find anything here we continue with main landing gear wheel wells and it looks a bit complex for even for 148 because you have to assemble all the parts in the right sequence and be sure to follow this guide because otherwise you won't be able to assemble it and then this stuff is inserted onto the wing so you won't be to you won't be able to have the landing gear legs separately which is a bit tricky because it will require a certain uh, painting order in order to get this parts right next we continue with main landing gear doors and wheels and here we have marking guide so first aircraft comes from june 1943 here we have aircraft from october 1943 and these are green aircraft i mean all of them are green this one might be interesting because it carries german cross and it comes from october 1943 here we have aircraft from october 1943 again and actually it's march 1944 and on the last page we have other kits from this brand so some of them were reviewed on our YouTube channel you can find it easily by typing the name or kit number and of course some supplies from CMK which are really handy for especially this plastic saw so you can get it here on these websites and kit itself I mean as I said before it should be already available for purchase on official special hobby website in my opinion it is interesting build for those who uh, have some experience in building such kits because beginners definitely will be overwhelmed with various 
uh, moments in this kit but if you're sure in your hands it might be a good choice for you especially I mean in abundance of all those BF109s and Focus, this might be something different. Of course, I will be happy to hear your opinion here in the comment section below. If you like this video, don't forget to press the like button and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for watching and bye.